Hey, I got my hands on some more Spyro games so that I could emulate and record them for you. Oh, I mean, they're Spyro games, so I would have gotten them anyway. But, but yeah, we have. What do we have? Well, you've seen the title, haven't you? Spyro: Season of Ice. Uh, I'm recording this in December, so it's quite fitting. I would have gone for Season of Fire first, but apparently that's called Spyro 2: Season of Fire. So. I guess that one comes afterwards. Now I have actually oh, tested it a little bit as well, but um, I have actually played some of one of these before, and for all its weirdness, I remember it being quite alright, but we'll see I suppose, won't we? When I was testing it I was a bit unsure, but we'll see, see how it goes. Ah. There's our boy. My boy, actually. My boy! You get your hands off him. Whoa. Hey, Spyro! I think I see a flying sheep saucer heading straight for us! Glide! No. Let's head out of here before it abducts us. That's not a flying sheep saucer, Hunter. Not Funter. <laughs> it's just a balloon! Oh. No main character voice is me. Look, there's a note here from Zoe. It says, Dear Spyro, I'm using every last drop oh, of my magic oh, to send you this message. Balloons aren't magic. Someone has cast a powerful spell over the fairy world. Freezing fairies and ice crystals and we can't get out. Now the Rhinox are back and collecting fairies one by one. I wish I knew what they were up to. Please come back before it's too late. This is terrible! No, this is terrible, we have to go help Zoe. And all the fairies! While you go see what's happening in the fairy world, I'll check the sorceress's spell book for something we can use to find out who's behind all this. You know, Bianca, no, you know, Bianca I haven't seen you carry that spell book in a few days. What do you mean? I never let it out of my sight, it's right in my bag. Oh no, my spell book, where is it? I must have left it at the library when I was picking up that travel book for our Dragon Shores vacation. Stop going to Dragon Shores. It's boring. No, it isn't. I've got to go find it. Bianca, while you find your spell book, Hunter Sparks and I will go find those fairies. Okay, see you soon. Oh, uh, it's rubbish. The camera is too zoomed in. That's my main problem with it but you can look around a little bit. doesn't really help much on the move though, does it? So yeah, I'm I'm not planning to 100% this, so I'm just going to get whatever I can find. <clears> Hi <throat> oh, Spyro, you'll never guess what I heard just before I got frozen in that crystal. The Rhinox are back! Those smelly Rhinox seem to be all over the fairy worlds. Probably not as smelly as dragons are. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I assume like Rhinox are supposed to be like rhinos, as in rhinoceri. Is it rhinoceri? Probably. Ugh. But, um, and they seem like they'd be ra rather smelly creatures, don't they? But anything any existing creature does, dragons do better. Wait, are you saying the smellier the better? No! I'm just saying dragons go big or go home. Ow. Do they? Something like that, anyway. Anyway, what a good start to a game. It's her fault. The fairy said smelly. So I had to go on a tangent. Because any weird subject that comes up, I have to dive right on it. Just to make everyone uncomfortable. Because that's what I do. It's an initiation test. Anyone who stops watching because of that conversation there doesn't belong on this channel. Oh, wait. Right. Oh, what was that? Lava Prairie Dog. It's actually been a while since I've recorded some proper playthrough stuff, so I forgot. I'm supposed to be doing this new format. Where I just do one video a day. No Lava Prairie. Fuck off. Dun, dun, 
Die. I guess it shows a light kind of sparks down there so you can more easily tell what health state he's at. Because he's so tiny in the actual game. Hi. Spyro, I think I see something sparked out over on that far hill. You'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the A button, I don't know, press the A button again while you're in the air to glide. Glide! Gotta make for, make up for the rubbish hunter redesign in Reignited. Uh, he's still alright, he's just not, not the same old loved hunter. Or beloved, I guess, is the phrase, word. Spyro, if you need to look far into the distance, hold down the L button and move the control panel in the direction you want to see. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like this music was in another game, but probably not. Ugh. Oh, you can't die in this game apparently. Or like, you can't whatever happens to Spyro because he doesn't die. <clears throat> he just gets knocked out or some cheese. Hi. Okay, Spyro, I know you're ready for this. To reach that hill, you can get... To reach that hill, you can get there by hovering. Oh, I press A button at the end of your glide. Oh yeah, good example. I see that little hover you did there. No! Now you'd think you want to jump from up there, don't you? Because it's a higher point. But no, I'm afraid not. Good job, Spyro. We've got a lot of fairies to rescue. Don't worry about falling in the fairy world, Spyro. If you fall in the fairy world, a magic will rescue you. Yeah, I know. Chances are, by the time I reach this point, I've already experienced it. Oh, fuck. Look who's here. He can piss right off. I don't know what these pumpkins do. I did like them all. M market area? Oh, market. How did I see Mesa as area? But good. If it was called market area, that would be a rubbish level name. Um, yeah. When I did my little test play. I don't know, maybe I just didn't get all of them actually. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Maybe it's a skill point if this game has those. Hey, Spyro, I'm not sure what happened, but I was flying over to meet Gabrielle and suddenly I was frozen in that chilly crystal. Crystals aren't chilly. If it's just crystal, it wouldn't be cold, unless it's a cold day. It'd have to be an ice crystal. But, well, but since you only called it a crystal, that means it wasn't ice. Like, you see, how are you supposed to find all the gems in these games? The camera could do with being a bit more zoomed out. Then it would be pretty much just great. Oh, what? Oh, okay, I accidentally found them all. Did it make a fairy appear, I guess? It was getting awfully frosty in that crystal. Thanks for saving me. Okay then, I guess you have to do them. Oh! See an I no, I see an island over there. Maybe not. It might just be out of bounds land. Great, now where am I? I don't think there's even a map in this game. You just don't have enough view distance to, to get anything done. Get her done! It's impossible. This whole game. I kind of want to find Lava Prairie and get on with it now. Because it wouldn't be very exciting. Oh! Spyro! My f my funny seeing you again. It must be fate. Well, it seems haiku poets aren't as profitable as I'd heard. So I guess this follows from Spyro 3. Because that was a thing in 3, wasn't it? The, um swamp level, that whatever it was called. Spooky swamp, yeah. So I came and struck up a deal with the Rhinox. I'm getting paid a fortune by a very large Rhinox to keep this insect-infected level restricted from dragons. 
Come to think of it, you never did mention anything about dragonflies. I suppose letting a dragon fly through wouldn't cause any harm now, would it? Especially if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. I ain't got that much. Oh, don't worry, Sparrow. I'm sure the screams of tiny fairies shall stop soon enough. Fucking scum of the earth. Or whatever planet we're on. Uh, who cares about fairies anyway? Not me. Although it does uh, sound almost like furries. Yo, Spyro! I have a feeling that charging is going to come in handy on this rescue mission. You might want to practice it a bit. You press the R Yeah, I know. Try charging into those sheep. No. Don't charge sheep. They're a lot easier to flame. Broil. Broly. Like, why would you make an area so big and open? You're gonna make your game have no view distance. <clears throat> oh hi. The portal is broken, Spyro. I need to rescue more fairies so the magic can help me with a spell to repair the portal. How many? Winter fairy home, twenty. I've only got five, that's quite a lot actually. Oh god, it's also gonna be a pain in the arse finding the levels, isn't it? Do I have a Atlas? Does it tell me how many levels are here? I guess, yeah. I guess so, yeah. God, I haven't even seen those two. So Fudge knows where they could be. Bloody hell, man. I mean, the way this is going already, I'm thinking maybe I won't end up playing Season of Fire. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe just follow the paths. No, don't, apparently. Oh, where's Lava Prairie gone? Thought it was over here. There. Level time. Look at him. What a cool dude. Oh! I'm sad that it doesn't do that in um, Reignited. Look at this place. Oh, hello. Oh! What? Oh. Oh, you know, it's not bad, is it? Whoa! I'm so glad to see you, Spyro. Those Rhinox let their pet pterodactyls off their leashes, and now they're ruining my cactus crop. But you can help me out. Just try flaming those cactus bombs over onto the geysers. Geyser. That should do the trick. We'll certainly find out soon enough. Don't put carpets in lava land. So flame rocks onto geysers, huh? I'm not seeing any rocks. My dear Mr. Spyro, those nasty Rhinox. Oh, Ganasty Rhinox. What? Why is it Ganasty? The Norks were the Ganasty ones, not Rhinox. They're a different faction. Or something. A trampling in my cactus garden and ruining my crops. I know, you already told me. Uh, my brother Fang and I would dearly appreciate if you could clear a path for us. Yeah, I was kind of truck. Attacks coming from off the screen, that's a good sign. Hell, at this rate it might end up just being a, a couple parts, like special episodes or whatever. Thanks for asking me Spyro, I heard that some fairies hid around flammable objects. Check everywhere Spyro, you never know what you might find. Well there's a hole. I assume that's a geezer. More attacks from off the screen. Piss off. Oh. Wow. Where do I get a rock to knock onto the geezer? Yeah. Ah, stop. Like, I realise that they have rocks, but. I don't know if they're the rocks that I need to be bonking because they just disappear when they die. Why are there runes on the wall? Is this a Doom spin-off? Do 
Did you hit me? You did as well. You might as well just finish me off at this point. What is that? Oh. I guess that's one of the things I need to put in a geezer. fun really isn't it oh is there like one that's a bit closer I would expect there to be one over here like the the first one that you find to give you an easy start to learn how it works but I guess not goes as far as your breath goes. And believe me, Spyro's got some breath. Blech. I don't get it. No, I know. I'm busy. Oops. That didn't work, did it? Hello? Can you get on that, please? Oh, you have to be quite accuracy. How many are there? You're supposed to count down, not up, maybe. If the other games are anything to go by. Yes, other games. I wouldn't mind some fodder, so I can get sparks back. Um, fine, just just go in the larva. Oh god, how tedious. Oh! It went purple instead of black and burnt. Do I have to get all of these again? No! I better reset this one. No, it didn't. That's okay then. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. What about... Is there anywhere I can go from up here? Yes. Oh, I need a key for that. Can I get over there? I can as well. Oh my god! find some, don't we? It was right across this bridge all along. Yeah, I don't know about this actually. I'm not enjoying it as much as I was expecting. And you know, if if the first darn part you're not oh you're not interested in playing more. Maybe you should just not. Like, you know, obviously I love Spyro and everything, but this isn't really gripping me. The story is a bit lame. No. The level seems maybe sh small, as in short though. So maybe we can find all these and see if it's worth it. You probably get another fairy, don't you? Wait, yeah, that's probably what she means, hiding by flammable objects. I don't bloody hurt. Yeah. Oh, there is one here. Well, okay then. Yep. Like, I can certainly see this being alright for a mobile game. Little 
handheld Spyro adventure. Why are you impossible? There we go. Puff. Puff and puff. The two main sound effects in life. What? I don't know. Is there one around here for me to clog up? I guess not. You know, it's just a bit tedious looking around. Oh, there. When there's so many games to record, is it worth going on with this one? Up. Oh god, there's still two more. Oh, there's stuff over here as well. I thought we were done, kind of. I wish they could, like, remake these in 3D. I would enjoy that quite a bit more. If I could see. That's the main thing. The main thing holding me back from really really enjoying this. That no bloke, that cactus. Kill it anyway though. Because cacti are spiky and they want to kill you. Just by existing and sitting there. Where's that? Is that a place I've been? I don't know, because I can't recognise the landscape. Because I don't have a proper view of it. Or idea where it is, in comparison to me. I mean, in relation to me. Oh god, how far does this go? Well, I thought I was back where I came from now, but... Maybe I am. Well, anyway, I guess it's just about the end of this part, pretty much, yeah. Oh! Hello? You do exist. Oh, what? Thanks, Barry. You can have this crazy looking rock I found plugging up one of the geezers earlier. Cheers. Ugh. You rescued Ali. So, uh, see you tomorrow or something for the next part. Bye!